Well, welcome back to Pinball Garage. Uh, it's Sunday, December the 12th, 2021. It's uh, 38 degrees here, kind of chilly. And for our friends down under and across the pond, that makes it like 3.3 degrees Celsius. Well, this morning, I'm going to talk about a Gottlieb score motor, try to explain it in practical language so you can get a understanding, you know, on how, how these things work. Uh, <clears throat> the score motor is a series of stack switches that are actuated by the cam. Let's go ahead and talk about the positions first. Uh, there's really four, four and a half positions. This would be position number one. This is position number two. This is position number three. And position three and a half, which is, uh, I believe, the, uh, the brake switch. And position number four. So, that's the positions of your switch stacks. Now, the levels... First of all, the frame is mounted on a, uh, a tripod uh, type frame that there's two hairpin clips on the frame that stands up in the machine and then one other, one other hole over here. right here that you can remove that clip and then you can tilt it like so and get a better a better view of the, what your switches are doing but the cam the cam is described is as in levels so your A level is the very bottom and that's your pulse cam. It's divided into into three three sets of five uh, notches. So you get pulses see one, two, three, four, five so, in a complete revolution, you get three sets of five pulses. And the pulses is what controls uh, all the other switches in the machine. And all these score motors, uh, even though the cam, there's two or three or four different cams, but your level A is your pulse cam. Level B is the pins that stick down from your C. Your C cam is here. Your B level is here. And those are the pins. There's only two. There's only two pins. Or is there three? Yeah, there's three, three pins. One pin for each 120 degrees of rotation. And then your level D would be your pin on top of the C cam. And then in the 70s, they came along with a level E. And level E, as you can see on this schematic, for kings and queens you see the block there at the bottom 
it's blank. They didn't start putting longer pins. The pin would stick up, you know, another half inch or so or quarter inch, whatever, and would run another stack of switches that would screw in probably here and here that would give you more circuits available on the newer machines to operate different things. Now, on your score motor, if you flip it open on the side, you'll see there's an oil port here. If you can get a, a watchman's little oil can, you know, that has a 22 and a half degree, you know, bend at the end. And it's, you know, they're real small uh, openings. That, that's what you uh, put. It says up to 10 drops. <clears throat> in the uh, service manuals, but I normally just do four or five for home use. And that's a pad. And then there's another pad on the top, but without taking the score motor apart, it's virtually impossible to get at. Unless you have really good eyes and you got a really good little oiler to get at it. And of course, here are the gears that drive the cam. And those look pretty clean for a used uh, secondhand score motor. So we'll put it back where, where it is located in the machine. So you got position one, position two, position three, three and a half, and position four. So, those are the switch positions, and of course your levels are level A, the pins are level B, the top of the cam is level C, And the pins sticking on top of the C cam are going to be level D, but there's no level E until, like I said, the mid to latter part of the 70s. So, those are your levels and your positions we went through. Position 1, 2, three, three and a half, four. So, and that's what it shows on the schematic. You can see the top it says score motor positions. The next diagram is the levels. And then your dog switch bracket positions, we'll talk about that in a minute. And then most importantly is the last block here, which shows which switches should be open and which switches should be closed. Uh, a designation is a normally open switch. A B designation is a normally closed switch. And then if there's a C designation on there, I don't know, that would be a make or break. Now there are some C designations in later machines, I know that. But on this, on this machine, there's no C, so there's no make or break switches in any of the stacks. Now I went over the dog position switches or the dog which is this piece right here and that runs on the outer edge of the C cam so when you when the cam motor starts see it will it will uh, 
close the switches on top so your first four switches are open and your inside two switches are closed but that's not I believe they're normally see that that rests there then you have your four switches here are closed and your two switches are open <clears throat> and that's what it says <clears throat> uh, actually it would be red so when the machine is in a reset position we're talking about 2C so position 1, position 2 and level C which would be the top cam evidently when that is in its neutral position you will have four opened switches and then two closed two closed switches and you can see that right there the outside four switches are open the inside two switches are closed so that would be when it's in a neutral position so you need to understand the positions in this chart right here that's at the bottom that chart tells you first of all how many switches are in a stack and what position the switches are located uh, that's good to know if you think you have a out of adjusted uh, motor switch this chart here will tell you exactly you know what you should have and that's what I did on my kings and queens the dog switch here this dog switch here was in the wrong wrong position it was in it was in the uh, short position which most of them are and it should have been in the long position and that screwed up the game and of course somebody adjusted the switches to make the machine appear to run correct but it wasn't correct so for instance if you're looking for position 3 and then on level B that would be position 3 level B would be the pins underneath the C cam then you're looking at this switch right here and that switch shows what we're on number three okay that just shows one switch that's normally closed so if we look at that switch I don't know if you're going to be able to see that, but that's the switch right here. And as you can see, maybe that switch there 
is closed. So those are those are your five levels on your cam. Level A, the pins are level B, the top cam is level C, and then the lone pin on the top, which only has one switch it's showing. That would be position 3, D3, so that's 1, 2, 3. And that switch would be normally open, which you can see that that switch there is open. So, in review, you have your five position, four, well, four three and a half. You have your five positions, well, one, two, three, three and a half, four, of the switch, your motor switch positions. Then you have the levels of the cam starting in the bottom. Your, your, that'll be your A cam, and then C is C cam. Then B level is the pin sticking down under the three pins under the C cam and the one pin sticking up would be your D level and then of course your dog switch positions on this one you have two shorts and one long and then this last block is the most important because that tells you what switches should be open and what switches should be closed 